Hey guys, today I present to you Linux Mint Debian Edition 2. This is the second full release of Linux Mint's rolling distribution designed for slightly more advanced users, which uses a Debian package base or a Debian testing package base um, rather than an Ubuntu one um, that's supposed to be slightly faster and have more up-to-date versions of um, applications in the software repositories. So this is the Mate version, but I believe there is a Cinnamon version available as well. And I got to say just, uh, and I've installed this onto a virtual machine, so I've been playing around with it for quite some time. Uh, it comes with Steam, so if you're worried about games directly off the bat, um, that's fine. I can't actually run Steam in a virtual machine because of hardware acceleration issues uh, surrounding virtual machines rather than the distribution itself. Um, but that's, a, that's to me a bit of a relief because if you just wanted to play some Linux games say on Steam and you just wanted to uh, maybe browse the internet this might be a particular candidate because it ticks those boxes uh, right off the bat. Okay so this is the press release that they sent out uh, and they explained the premise of it. Uh, there is going to be a um, an upgrade path from LMDE1 to LMDE2 but that has not yet been brought to fruition which is fine. Um, they're still sort of using the um, uh, Debian testing package base as I understand it. So this is just maybe uh, a, a more of a, a refresher just to make sure that all the software is on the same page to allow newer users to not have to update so much software um, from the initial Debian um, or Linux Mint Debian edition installer, which is, you know, what you'd expect from time to time. Um, so yeah, the premise of this distribution is pretty self-explanatory, more, more advanced user base suggested with slightly snappier reaction times and loading times and uh, newer versions of packages. Um, gotta say, I do quite like it. I do like quite, I quite like uh, Mate, the uh, desktop environment I'm using here. Um, it just feels it feels quite snappier. I can kind of see what all the hype is about, but I also see it as being very, very similar to LXDE. And I kind of feel that they overlap really quite a lot to the point where, I don't know, I think that there's probably quite a lot of value in bringing those two technologies together. But I am not part of either of those development teams, so I am literally just speaking as an outsider here. Okay, so it still comes with all the Linux Mint apps that we've come to know and love. It's granted apps without asking for a password because I've put it in recently. Um, it comes with the uh, update manager, which tells you basically the risk of all the updates available to you, which I think is something that is often, it's an understated risk um, in a lot of uh, Linux distributions where there is often this feeling that, oh, update this, update that, all willy-nilly, and then suddenly something breaks and it's not always easy to fix. So I do like the fact that they, they put certain things as like a level one is like the least amount of risk or... Um, you know, and they're usually like mint tools, so they even if they do mess up, then they're not really going to damage your system too much. And then you've got uh, two and three, which tend to be Ubuntu upstream upgrades. And then you've got like four and five, which are like kernel upgrades. Linux Mint doesn't like upgrading the kernel um, because they consider that to be like the highest risk. If you mess up your kernel, um, then um, they consider that to be really quite a bad thing. Um, and they try and avoid doing that at all costs. Um, so that being said, Yep, the App Store is exactly the same, and I really quite like the App Store for w one reason above anything else is that it gives you the the four out, you know it gives you the star ratings. It tells you how many people have reviewed it, and it actually gives you the reviews just like a lot of say the the Chrome, um, the Google Play App Store, um, which is great. Uh, which is something that I, I would really like to see um, more sort of commonly available in the default. Um, software managers as well. So this is all exactly the same as the flagship distributions that you see, which are based on Ubuntu. Um, what do we have in the control center? So it's nice, easily accessible control center. Plenty of options here. But then again, this is all standard for Linux Mint. So I'm going to keep this review about as short because we're all very familiar with Linux Mint as a distribution. Just going to select startup applications just off the bat, just as a, you know, example. Yeah, that's, that's all very familiar stuff. Um, it looks nice. It reacts well. I hope that the upgrade path from LMDE1 to LMDE2 goes smoothly. I like that Linux Mint listen to their community quite a lot. I like the fact that even though um, distributions are more than entitled to it, they don't shove the donation button in your face every time. They're not always tapping it for money. And whereas I'm more than happy to 
donate to pro projects and whereas I'm more than happy for them to sort of ask for money because they damn well deserve it um, I do feel that with Ubuntu and especially with uh, elementary OS they kind of put it a little bit more front and center than perhaps it maybe should be I don't know maybe that's a question for another time let me know in the description uh, in the comment section below what you what you think of that uh, particularly sort of aggressive um, request for donation oh well I think aggressive might be a little bit uh, overstating uh, overstating it but um, but I've certainly noticed a little more prevalent just within like Ubuntu and an elementary which by and large I think that they're more than entitled to do and I think that it's certainly with the Ubuntu and the way that Ubuntu does it does it it's fine and they have you know it's not like they haven't brought a lot of uh, software to the Linux GNU world and um, I do understand that elementary also do donate a lot of the donations they pick up further upstream to a lot of their default applications and all that kind of stuff so um, you know, maybe it's a new way of fundraising, whereas maybe instead of, you know, donating a little bit of money to this piece of software here, a little bit of money to this piece of software here, that the distributions effectively ask for the donations and they split the donations up to among um, various uh, developers as, as they see fit. Could be a new model. Um, it has some merits. It has some demerits. Um, and now I'm starting to ramble. But it's a good distribution if you like living on the cutting edge um, and you like the latest software. You like something a little bit more lean, but um, um, but uh, but are willing to deal with a few bugs. I think this might be a good distribution to have a look at. Um, it certainly looks nice. It certainly looks polished, um, and um, yeah maybe it's worth a look so that's about it for me today thank you very much for watching if any of you guys use the debian based version of linux mint let me know down in the comment section below and how you get on with it